What we have here is a Mettler electronic scale. I used this for a number of years. It worked fine, but when I bought it, it was exhibiting exactly the same problem it exhibits now. And I have to fix the problem because I need to use a scale. And the problem is this. I push the bar down and it should tear itself. Then I let go and the bar springs up. Normally it springs to the operating position, but now it seems as if it's causing the machine to turn off. There's a stainless steel plate on top of it. It's just really an inverted pie plate. It has a inner drip ring. Of course the outer serves as a drip ring. This inverted pie plate is held by this plate which is somewhat heavier aluminum plate. I'm hoping that these two screws allow me to take this cover off. I've never had this open before. And there we go. The cover is a die cast aluminum cover. The frame is uh, cast aluminum with some fasteners on it. I think I'll remove this display board. Now I can see the two limit switches, one above and one below. I'm using the bench meter. I've got this, these, these clips across a, what appears to be a low voltage power supply capacitor. And when I press down, you can't see it, but I get 31 volts on uh, my bench meter. As soon as I lift up, it goes away. This right here is a 24 volt relay. So I guess I'll take this power supply board back out. I already had it out once. And apply 24 volts to the uh, relay terminals and see if anything happens. I've soldered uh, two of the switch terminals. I've soldered uh, short pieces of wire to them and I found this now the, the text is in uh, Polish maybe in any event I've soldered at the terminals uh, 6 and 7. 
seven being common. And I, this is a my ohm meter. It's reading two and a half ohms, which is pretty high, really. That's supposed to be a normally closed contact. I'm going to put it on sounder. And this is connected to a 24 volt uh, power supply. And I go across the term of the coil, and you see the relay opens. Uh, relay contact is actually unused. So what I'm going to do is move that wire to the normally open terminal. And I'll hook the meter back up. I'll set it to with a sounder. So in fact that's those terminals are open. And see, when I energize the coil, it does not close. It remains open. I found one of these, only one of these relays on eBay. And I cannot find an interchange or a cross-reference uh, for the AZ535 series. So I found it in Poland. New old stock uh, Zettler I think it is no longer makes this relay and they apparently don't make a replacement for it. So it cost me $40, and it's uh, on a boat, hopefully an airplane, but it's coming from Poland. So I'm going to publish this the video to this period, and when the relay comes, post the final repair, and I have a set of calibration weight, or reference weights that I can use to uh, verify the scale accuracy.